I'm just a Christian everything. Uh-huh. Thank you for saving me, for replenishing me, for delivering me. I read the Bible. For real? Yes. Seriously, you sit and read the Bible? Yes. Now that God has called me and I've, I now have given my life to Jesus Christ and I work for God. Now I get to work for God and he about to show out. Kanye West works for God. What are your thoughts on Kanye West? Kanye West, uh, man, he's a good artist. He pumps out some good music. I really honestly don't know too much about him, but running for president. I mean, I probably don't agree with everything he does. I feel like we all got a little Kanye West in us. I have pros and cons. Tell me some cons about Kanye West. I mean, everybody's entitled to their own opinion and Kanye probably pushes the envelope across whether it's politics or his music, but um, I agree with like his will for innovation. Does he relate to the average person? Yeah, if you talk to him. He's making the news because of his music. I like his music, but not necessarily lately. He claims to become a Christian. What are your thoughts on that? You know, that's, Con that's Kanye's business. Um, yeah. You know, if you believe in God, then they, you know, more power to you. I think he's trying to get, like, followers, trying to make himself seem like better. Perhaps this is a publicity stunt. Publicity stunt? Uh, I don't know that I'd go so much as to call it a stunt, just because I think it gives it kind of a negative connotation. But, uh, yeah, man, absolutely. Look, I mean, why wouldn't you try to get publicity, right? You think it's genuine? No. No. It's all, it's all publicity stunt. Yeah, all publicity stunt. Here's his big word that he's throwing around. It's kind of introducing people to. It's a word called repentance. He's saying that he repented. He's changed his ways. What are your thoughts? Have you ever heard that word, repentance? Repentance. I, I am familiar with the word. Okay. What, is, what is that word? Repentance? repentance? Uh, you know, it's probably looking back on maybe mistakes that you've made. Repentance is one of the most positive words in the Christian vocabulary. It refers to turning from a destructive path and moving instead into God's plan for your life. Any idea what that word repentance means? I mean, I've heard people say repent, repent, and I'm just assuming he's trying to like uh, steer people away from things that they shouldn't be doing in the terms of religion. To forsake sin is to leave it without any reserve thought of going back to it again. Repentance, it's the vomit of the soul. MacArthur said that your repentance needs to be as loud as your sin. Yeah, repentance, it's just like, repenting his sins, all the things that he's, he wants the Lord to forgive him. So what exactly is it? It's a change of mind about your sin and who God is. It's an exchange for an irresistible sin, for an irresistible Christ. It's turning from the sins that you love to a God that you are commanded to love. It's a turning from your sin and it's a turning towards God in faith. That's repentance. Not everybody gonna make it across the gates. It's a very specific, it's very, I did, but since we are here for the interview, let me talk about the idea of sin and repenting. Christ isn't asking us to clean our lives up. He's commanding us to lay our lives down. There's a difference, a world of difference. It's not an invitation, it's a declaration. You must repent. In fact, he says, unless you repent, you will perish. We don't make Jesus Lord. He is Lord. He's commanding you to recognize him for who he really is. He sits on his throne. He is the King of Kings, and he is the Lord of Lords. When people have their own relationship with Christ, a lot of times, I got my own relationship with Jesus. It's because they know they are dealing with sins that they don't want to have to repent for. The difference is once you're delivered, everything that you do is in service to Christ. And anything that you realize wasn't in service to Christ, you will repent for. A person who truly repents and trusts Christ alone for their salvation is a Christian. Scripture says if any man's in Christ, he's a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Sin forsaken is one of the best evidences of sin forgiven. So, did Kanye West repent? I don't know. But I know that justification comes before sanctification, and I know that he's being discipled by a really great guy with some really good theology. I need to repent more. I'm sure there's things where I'll look at this interview and say, was that self-serving? Or was that mm -hmm. in service to Christ? Spurgeon said there can be no peace between you and Christ 
while there's still peace between you and your sin. You and your sin must separate or you and your God will never come together. What do you think happens after we die? Mm. Wow. <laughs> um, I would say that I, I believe that we do go up to heaven. I've done a lot more good than bad. I've, I've helped change people's lives. Do you consider yourself to be a good person in God's eyes? I hope so. Have you ever heard of the Ten Commandments? I heard of it, but I couldn't tell you. The Ninth Commandment says, uh, you shall not bear false witness. Have you ever told a lie, or how many lies do you think you've told over the course of your life? Sure. I can't count. How many things do you think you've stolen over the course of your life? Not many. I stopped stealing when I was younger. I was like a kid, like fourth grade, fifth grade. Fourth, fifth grade. You started young. <laughs> Too young. <laughs> Jesus said, if you look with lust or sexual desire, you've committed adultery in your heart. Meaning God not only sees the people you're with, but the people you want to be with. Have you ever looked at a woman with lust? Uh, absolutely. Am I colored? <laughs> yeah, absolutely, though. Okay. Yeah, that's a sin. Does it concern you at all if God were to judge you by the commandments, though, that he would send you to hell, his prison, because he's holy and you're not? I mean, when you say it like that. <laughs> um, Do you have any idea what God did so you wouldn't have to go to hell? This is Kanye's message that he's sharing. Uh, I believe he died on the cross. God requires of you to repent and to place your trust in Jesus. And if you do that, if you surrender your life, then you're given a free gift, which is everlasting life. It's not just, I'm gonna turn for my sins and not go to hell, but God's offering life. You fellowship with the God who created seafood and surfing and sunsets and sacks, right? This is the God that uh, Kanye is talking about. Forget Kanye, honestly. Yeah. I know we, I know he the topic, but it's, it's just how you make life, man. You know, if, if, you, if you feel like you're a good person and you know, you're giving back and you're helping people out constantly, because that's why I feel like we're on this earth, yeah. to help each other and of course to praise the God. What if you're guilty though? What, what, is, what is that God as the judge of the universe? What, what if you're guilty of breaking his law? Does God turn a blind eye to that? Does he not care? Say, hey, my good always my bad. I've only murdered one person. Right, 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 right. No, absolutely not. But I believe that's why um, we say repent. Yeah. Because that he, can, he will forgive you, though. You have broken God's law, the Ten Commandments. And because we've broken God's commandments, broken his law, we cannot go to heaven. Because God is holy, he's perfect, and he's just. I'm, I'm saying this is what the Bible says. Right? And this is, this, is where, this is what changed Kanye. This is the message that hit him that if, if we confess our sins, hey, I blew it, I messed up. And not only that, but I need to surrender my life. I'm gonna count the cost, I'm gonna repent. Yeah, we talked about that, it's a change of mind. And it's agreement with God that he's right, I'm wrong. He alone is wise, he alone is just and holy and perfect. That it doesn't matter if my good always my bad, the fact is I'm guilty. And if I turn from my sin by turning towards him and I trust him the way I would a parachute, I'm going to be given a free gift, which is everlasting life. And the reason I know that Christ would forgive me is because Jesus rose again from the dead and he defeated the grave. What about you? Have you repented? I'm not asking if you feel sorry for your sin. Of course, you should feel sorry for your sin. You've done wrong. Have you repented? Have you changed your mind about who you are in relationship to who God is? God does not dismiss his wrath against sinners by the wave of a magical wand. Salvation is a free gift, but it costs the son his life. So either Jesus Christ is your substitute who suffered in himself the wrath of the Father, and in so doing, he satisfied the demands of the law. Or you gotta do it yourself. In God's prison, his punishment for you is a place called hell. Today is the day of your salvation. Today is the day to prepare for your last day. Death is going to come knocking at an inopportune time for every one of us. Cemeteries are filled with young people. Youth is no guarantee of old age. Do you think that's a pretty important message that Kanye is sharing for other people? Absolutely. I mean, people definitely need to hear it because we don't hear it enough. Yeah. And, you know, you got a lot of people who just might just listen to that certain genre of music. And he's... Um, preaching that, so yeah. it needs more of that. What are you going to do with this one named Jesus Christ? Repent and believe the gospel. Trust Christ alone. Kanye, in his hit song, Selah, 
He said, to whom the Son is set free is free indeed. He saved a wretch like me. Christianity does not teach sinless perfection. You will struggle till the day you die. I'm not talking about being sinless, but you will find yourself sinning less. It's a complete surrender to Christ. Is Kanye a true Christian? I don't know. But I know that God can save anyone, including Kanye and including you. Listen, you must repent. I don't believe the reawakening of that Kanye is saying he's having. I don't believe if I look at the last two, three, four, five years of his life, I don't believe that this can be as uh, night and day as it is. Do you know what I mean? Well, that's that, you, that you would be one day living your life in one way and now saying everything is for this. I'm not sure I believe it. What would you say to those people? People who don't believe are walking dead. They are asleep. And this is the awakening. You need to grow in your faith. Read the word daily using this amazing one-year devotional, Jesus in Red. It's 365 readings based on the words of Jesus. There's nothing like it. Get it through Amazon, livingwaters.com, or at a bookstore.